There's a fine line between cool vintage and old ugly. Guess which one this is. Hey everybody, welcome back to Mrs. Rattlecan's house. I am James and today we're going to take out this old crusty electric cooktop from the kitchen. Uh, I am going to give you some words of advice to start off with. Number one, make sure you remove any of the uh, moving electron capability from this project by turning off the breaker. I'll also give you another piece of free advice. If you have a circuit tester, make sure that you test the circuit so that you don't get the uh, electricity going through your body because it's not fun. So with that taken care of, uh, if we got to get this top out here, there's a couple of things that we have to do. And the first thing we have to do is we have to pull these electric elements out. And if you will tilt it up, it will just pull out. It's kind of a press fit with these little round lugs in the middle. And sometimes you got to give them a, a, a good yank. But once you tip it up, you can kind of see where they insert into the holder underneath the top and then you can just pull those out. You'll probably have to remove the drip pans and uh, I don't know what in the world you do with those. Now you'll notice that the top will probably lift up but there's something that is holding uh, this down. Uh, and denying you access and that is the Dobbs. Now if you're not worried about um, tearing things up you can just get a screwdriver and pry them under them, there I guess. Uh, but we're gonna donate this to the local reclamation uh, area and so here's a trick from the guitar playing days is you take a cloth and you wrap it underneath that knob and then when you start pulling up you'll pull the knob off you won't damage the knob and you won't damage the area underneath the knob by uh, acting like an orangutan and uh, just, you know, being all destructive and crap. Now with those removed and out of the way, you should be able to tilt the cover up and notice that we have got some retention screws uh, that go into the countertop and that if we remove those then well, we might actually be able to lift this thing out of there. Uh, you can notice that someone has apparently gotten a little a little too excited on uh, chilly night uh, as they left some of it beneath there for us and someone was also nice enough to use two different types of screws to hold this in. They used a Phillips on one side and a regular slotted screw on the other. Now with that, uh, barring any sort of adhesion from some leftovers again from chilly night, we should be able to lift this up. Now we can start looking at how this is electrically attached and well another free piece of advice duct tape is not used to retain electrical wires of any fashion and uh, we also had to remove some wire that was um, uh, apparently the duct tape wasn't enough so they used some just some bare copper wire to hold that up uh, underneath out of the way. Now this is where uh, it gets a little interesting. Now at this point we have to crawl underneath the cabinet on the opposite side of the cabinet and we found this mess. Um, suffice it to say if you are even remotely uncomfortable with working around uh, electricity, you need to find someone qualified to help you out. And I am not that guy. 
Uh, I'm showing you what I did, which is possibly, even probably, not the preferred method. Now, what I did in this case was I had three wires coming out of this connection in the top, connecting up with these two hot wires and this neutral wire. So I put wire nuts on the end of uh, these two 110 volt lines and taped them uh, on there with electrical tape and then uh, proceeded to pull uh, everything out of there. This circuit has been marked off in the circuit panel down below uh, so that if anyone wants to uh, mess with this then they will know that this circuit is off. Now with that silliness out of the way I can then proceed to get this cooktop disconnected, just use my line pliers, snipped them off, just like so. Then uh, had a restraining strap that uh, held that wire in, and now we are left with one great big gaping hole. Ta-da! So now we're ready to take the top of that counter off as we are replacing the counters in the kitchen. And that is how I took an electrical uh, cooktop range out. Your mileage may vary, and as always, consult someone who knows what they're doing, and that person might not necessarily be yourself. Hey, you guys have a good one, cheers. If you enjoyed watching this episode of Mrs. Rattlecan's House, consider checking out this video. Be sure to subscribe to us on YouTube and to get the latest updates on our progress, like us on Facebook. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon. Perhaps we should have some wine. <laughs>